And so chemotherapy is given in different settings with bladder cancer. It can be given sometimes in what we call the neoadjuvant setting, so ahead of either surgery or radiotherapy, um, which um, helps improve the chances of the cancer being hopefully cured by the treatment. And it can also be given in the metastatic setting when the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Um, and the aim of the treatment then is to try and shrink the tumour and help the patients hopefully feel better as a result of treatment and aiming to live longer than not having chemotherapy treatment. The most common chemotherapy drugs would be cisplatin um, and, and gemcitabine, or sometimes carboplatin and gemcitabine. They'd be the standard uh, first-line chemotherapy drugs. And then we sometimes use um, other immunotherapy-type treatments in the uh, metastatic settings, such as pembrolizumab. Um, it's commonly used um, as, you know, so they're, they're probably the most common drugs that we would tend to use in the in those settings. Other drugs are coming through as well. So the chemotherapy is an intravenous treatment, which is usually given in hospitals, although also sometimes can be delivered at, at home. Um, it usually involves regular blood tests to make sure that the blood counts are high enough for us to go with the treatments. So the blood count is okay. The kidney and liver tests are all fine. And then there's usually a review prior to the treatment, and then the patients will come in and have their treatment, which is given intravenously. They usually get home the same day, and then this process is repeated every few weeks, usually over a several months period. Um, well, the length of the chemotherapy will depend on which drugs are used, but typically the cisplatin drug can often take several hours because we need to give quite a lot of fluid with it. So patients tend to have a fairly early morning appointment for that, usually nine o'clock, and they usually go home um, late afternoon. The carboplatin, if that's given, that's a uh, quicker treatment. That's usually a couple of hours or so. And the gemcitabine is uh, quicker. It's usually less than an hour that patients should be in. For, for that, and the immunotherapy is also given quite uh, quickly. The pembrolizumab is not a, not a long treatment. So the most common side effects we probably see are nausea and, and sometimes vomiting, but the good thing is that the anti-sickness medicines that we have now are much, much better than they were many years ago. So although it still can be an issue, it's much better controlled than it used to be. We also need to keep an eye on people's kidney function um, because this platin can sometimes upset that. People can also sometimes get buzzing or tinnitus in their ears. And then there's the uncommon but potentially more serious and occasionally fatal consequences of chemotherapy, such as the risk of serious infection, MI, uh, strokes, and blood clots. So these severe side effects are uncommon but certainly well recognized. So it's important patients are aware of these. So if they do have any worrying symptoms, they seek appropriate advice at a very early stage.